Hey everyone, it's Marissa. I'm Derek. And I'm Carrie. And welcome, welcome to, to episode, episode 20, 20 of, of the World of, of DVC, DVC Show. show. Today, we have lots in store for you, from holiday memories, giveaways, plus we're announcing some pretty big things mm -hmm. happening here at the World of DVC. So stay tuned, welcome, and join us for this holiday edition. Daddy, look, a giraffe. chance to build your legacy to go to magical places with smiling faces and value and trust you can see when it's buying or selling renting or lending there's a wonderful dwelling with wishes unending you'll save a lot when you believe so go with the team who will achieve Ladies and gentlemen, you are now entering the world of DVC, the ultimate DVC destination where magical vacations meet incredible value through exceptional service. Put in your headphones, turn the volume up, sit back, relax, and step into the world of DVC. Just for sure. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Can this you is believe it? it? Last the show last of the year. show of 2022, episode number 20. You're Perfect ready to say timing. something. Yeah, no, I just, I loved it. Yeah, I, I feel like we finally have a long standing tradition. Like, oh, we now yeah. finally have it's a long standing official. tradition. It's official. 20 episodes is a long standing tradition, but yes, happy holidays, happy my friends. Happy holidays. Good to see you all. If yeah. I look a little uh, sunned, uh, sun kissed, sun -kissed. I think, would be the right word. I just got back from Vero Beach last night. For those of you that don't know, I know you guys do. Uh, it's my favorite Disney Vacation Club resort of all time. So we were able to go for four nights at Vero. Had a standard so view fun. room in the inn. Beautiful standard view. Though. Oh, the view was crazy. It was beautiful. You could stand on your balcony, huge balcony. Saw the ocean. Ate at great restaurants, including. The Riverside Cafe. Did you see any DVC members? No. Oh, that's no. I, I think Maybe they're they all looking for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Might not have recognized me, but it was it was amazing and a whole month I feel filled with yeah. just so much Disney stuff, including oh we got to go to Copper Creek yeah, for right. one night too. So yeah. which was magical for the reason of we booked a studio room at Copper because again we're so close just yeah. for one night. Said perfect, let's go. We check in, and for the first time in my 87 years of being a Disney Vacation Club member, you look great. they said... The membership hasn't been around that long. <laughs> <laughs> they said, congratulations, we hope it's okay, but we're going to upgrade you to a two-bedroom villa instead That's of your right. studio. Nice. You know what's funny? Crazy. The exact same thing happened to us two years ago. In December, we booked a Copper Creek studio, Yeah, and they didn't even say anything. We literally like go to the door and put our key in, and it's a two-bedroom. Oh, wow. Same thing. So if you want to be pixie oh, dusted, it's December, December at Copper okay. Creek. <laughs> Early December, it sounds exactly. like. Exactly. Like wow. right before Christmas. Like it is. Not, before. It's so funny you say <laughs> that because it is not the first upgrading story that I've heard. I know from talking to oh some gosh. of our great audience members like Jeff. Uh, Jeff was there and said the exact same thing, that he no went to Copper Creek. Yeah, for Copper some Creek reason. Too? I, yeah. At Copper okay. Creek. But he right. got a, I he like got a giving, cabin. We're giving a best kept secret here. He got a cabin? He got a cabin. So I was just happy to get a two-bedroom. What was his Original room. I think a studio. Yeah, and he had just been. Did he cry? Correct me, which is great. So <laughs> did he want Jeff to, is fantastic. Did he stay? And like yes, and, and I think it was literally one of his first stays of being a Disney Vacation Club member. Oh my that he purchased gosh! With us. So one of his first one. That's why he didn't invite us. He didn't know us that well. <laughs> I know, right? I was like, you We're are always available for a studio or a cabin. Spoiled or, forever. Yeah. You are spoiled oh, forever. You are spoiled forever. But yeah. no, it was. That's magical awesome. and then concluding it which i know you and i were talking about we got to go see candlelight didn't spend the night um i i got upgraded to be the guest narrator so that was i super believe it <laughs> i believe it who guess was it. who was your celebrity narrator? we had whoopi goldberg oh awesome so we did the dining package yep. in germany which 
Let me tell you, I don't know if you've ever been in all of my trips. Yeah. I've never, ever, ever eaten inside Germany. I've got two boys, an 18 and a 14 year old. They're both rowers. So the thought of getting a dining package where you don't have to wait that long to get in. Right. But it's an unlimited buffet right. for my two boys. Perfect. So I think my oldest, Owen, uh, wound up walking mm -hmm. out with, I think, 13 plates of food <laughs> by the time he was done starting and going all the way through. It's but a teenage boy it was Yeah. Right. It was great. The beer was great. The food was great. It's There's fun entertainment. In there, isn't it? And it's it so looks Christmassy, so cool. right? Yeah. yeah. It's so Christmassy in there. I've never it. done it. Awesome. I yeah. It's it. fun. Who it is, is your really Who's your guest narrator? We saw Josh Gad. Oh. AKA Olaf. Oh my yes. God. A legend, he, right? Yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. And so we didn't <laughs> And there was no wait, no line at all for none. him, I'm sure. We did it right on the day you could book and yeah. everything was booked yeah. out. Oh, yeah. So we were gonna do like the day of. But really, like when we got there, we got I we got there like an hour early and stood like nice. we got food, so I mobile ordered mm -hmm. at like the American Pavilion. And That's so smart. we just we had Caden's stroller, we set up like a little tray on his stroller. Nice. And we just sat there and we ate. And so we just sat in like the standby where you could like stand and see from the back. Yeah. Right. Perfect view. And yeah. I think for us having like a younger kid who's going to kind of wiggle around and not necessarily right. sit through, through the whole yes. thing. I think for this year, he's five. <laughs> it was the perfect scenario. Right. We made it until like 50 minutes in. So like the last 10 minutes, yeah. we're like, this was awesome. We're going to go down. For the Hallelujah um, Chorus. <laughs> yes. He just, he was going to make it through, which actually worked out. So we weren't the people sitting in like the third row who yeah. were like, hi, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. we're going to go. So I think next year perfect will probably then. be our year to sit all the way through. Yeah. And then That's we so have... Funny. We're trying out for the first time the new Grand Floridian Studios. Oh, nice. So we're trying that out. Our tradition is always Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. Um, we always do a night at Disney on Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. And so we do a night stay there. And you go visit the trees, and right? We go, well, we go, we do the monorail the right, Yeah. So right. we go and see all the trees. So we have a picture each year in front of the Grand Floridian so tree, special. which is our tradition. And then we're doing, um, we got a last minute dining reservation which is super cool. And I'm going to tell you how you can get that uh, next uh -huh. month. We have uh -huh. a whole oh, show about yes. that. But we got, so I put in a request through our new program that we've got coming soon, mm -hmm. hint, hint. But I put in a request um, like three nights ago and I put it in at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. By 9 a.m. I had California Grill booked for the three Stop. of us oh oh my on gosh. December 23rd, which is what like- What time did you get? 5.30. Oh my gosh, which yes. is perfect. 4.30 a.m. Yeah. Wow, who cares? <laughs> well, fireworks are at 15 so we can either okay. stay there and do that yeah. or we can watch them. We, we have a theme park view from our room, so. Perfect. Yeah. But you can also go back too. Yeah, you get the ticket to go back. You get the ticket to go. So if you do dine early at California Grill, they'll let you go back up so you don't have yeah. to wait that three or four hours. Exactly. That is a perfect so cliffhanger. I know. Yeah. I'm not going to tell As you what it is. the right Stay now is like, did she say something month. about, right, How something? did you get yeah. that? How did you it get that? Like, I really felt like hitting the jackpot. Like, I woke up to my email and I was like, <laughs> yay, it worked. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah. That is super exciting. Yeah. This is our first year not doing candlelight. Oh my gosh. And that's, I always say that's my, my tradition. You're the reason right? I well, went to see it yeah. this year. Right. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. You've inspired me, all of these conversations about it. It's one of our favorite things. We've been doing it since, Tarek was 85 years old, I think it was. <laughs> Something like that. It's a long time since but the 90s. You, you yeah. Carrie, had <laughs> great reasons about why yes. you were not able to attend Candlelight. That is because... Yes. So we had an all-company retreat at the beginning of December. First ever. First ever all-company retreat where we looked out and every single person as part of World of DVC, which we've grown so much. There's 63 people now, which it started. I mean, just little pockets of people everywhere. And we did this entire week-long retreat where we were at the Yacht Club, we were in the parks, we got to meet some of our DVC members yeah. and listeners and watchers. We were at the Boardwalk, we were at Universal, we did a Christmas party. I mean, we <laughs> packed it all in if into seven days. it is like Disney days. or a theme park related, yeah. we were there. We were there. I don't even think it was within seven days. I no. think it was in four days. It was in like 24 hours, it felt like to me. <laughs> it was like, we were like, like the like the gadabout group, like we were everywhere. Yeah. We were everywhere, all the time, all the places, and it was fabulous. But well, you did, so and uh, I'm I'm telling you, and I know every single person that had feedback. Yeah. You did such Thank a you. phenomenal job. Thank I mean, you. everything was so incredible, and it was so many moments to where I sat there throughout you know many days and just thinking, like you said, my God, this company's grown yeah so much. But you look over and you go, oh my God, those are the great people from the rental store that yeah. are in India, or there's someone else yep. from a different state and California and yep. everybody. Everybody was just able to come together. And it was so cool to like 
I think the whole purpose, it wasn't like a training ret- retreat where we were kind of like really focused right. on like learning. It was more of community. And yeah. I think that's kind of the theme of like what you see with our show mm-hmm. and just like even with our groups and with you, our audience, mm-hmm. it's just having that DVC community. Yeah. So how do we build that even more? Well, it starts inward with our team, right? right? Yeah. And so having those moments to spend together mm-hmm. to make those magical moments, which you did for our team members so that they can continue to create that magic for our guests. Well, right. And that you, you hit it on the, the had exactly of what the purpose of this was Marissa is community and even down to like the table settings of like who was going to sit where because people don't know each other we are in Indiana or California or upstate Florida or here central Florida so we're a little bit spread out and you know I think a lot of us know each other from like the shoulders up from zoom right Right. we have (laughs) not met like we people didn't realize how tall Derek is and how short Marissa and I are and things like that but so to see each other come together and see the the bond of people coming coming across the aisles to say that like the common thread we have here is our love of Disney and our love of family and our love of this company. And so building that community, like that was the thread of communication throughout the entire thing. And so to step back as the planner of it and actually just like kind of have a different viewpoint of it. I mean, I cried, I think every hour on the hour, like I had tears in my eyes for something and I held it together. You it's guys, true. It's true. It's I, true. I did not she cry cried. except one time, which we'll share that that magical moment a little bit later but I did it was it was just full of like when you know you're in the right spot with the right people and I love what this company does and this is what this show does too is we build this community and we love it and we've met so many of the viewers and listeners as we were out and about yeah and speaking of that we we had the chance to meet Mary who's one of our our viewers of the show so we'll pop up her picture there and we met Ron and if you remember Ron was the winner of our bungalow bungalow giveaway a few months back oh everybody remembers Ron right no one forgot about Ron people (laughs) people remember Ron showing us the shower outdoor <laughs> <Remember that? laughs> but it was so crazy because we're we were passing as we were our team was leaving epcot ron was walking in and we were yeah. like ron! <laughs> so we got a great picture with him but yeah. we, we saw so many great yeah. people throughout our people time. really did watch the show last month when yes. we said right. we're gonna be we're gonna in and around the park exactly we got a lot yeah. of email yes. from people which yeah. is perfect so yeah being able to put and, and if we miss everybody... you well we're gonna try to set up more events as yeah. we come to the new year so we'll we'll try to do i i would love to see us do like maybe pop into parks on certain so days fun, so, yeah right? so we'd love Sign to see that. that yeah we're, <laughs> i love twist it. our arm for that but Put we all comments did. what you want to see <laughs> exactly <laughs> where do you want to see us because we'll pop up anywhere yeah, right pop ups. one of the pop-up things that <laughs> we i know did kyle that- wants to see the three of us Remember? Ka- yes, Ka- that's true. <laughs> Holding hands, skipping right? through. Sky, the that's right. Box. We're doing it. Oh my it. gosh! Goal yes. for 2023, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, we're January, coming for you. January. We're coming for you. 2023. We're coming for you. <laughs> but one of the places we did sort of pop up in, and I don't think any of us had ever done this, was we did a beach party at. Yes. Um, the Yacht and Beach Club. So there's that private beach right by Stormalong Bay and it's Shipwreck Beach. And we did, we thought it would be so fun to have, especially the indie team who's like, under blizzard warnings right now literally Um, we're chilly here too but they are literally under some blizzard warnings we thought what better place to have dinner than in the sand under the stars outside in december you don't get to do that and we're all from the north whether it's northern california or the northeast don't get to do that in december you're freezing and so we had a beautiful perfect night and we all dined on the beach the food was amazing the the cast members were outstanding the dj Oh, I forget man. the DJ's name, but he was, he was something else. Let he me tell was. you, these world of DVC people know how to dance. They know how to Not dance. Me, they but can, everyone else knows how to they dance. They can kick up some sand. Let me tell you, the, it was quite a gathering. And If you're uh, watching um, or listening, I should say, via audio on the podcast, you might want to turn over to the YouTube. We may have some clips. <laughs> we might have some videos of that. <laughs> of, of some dancing that went on But on we the even beach. had like a crowd of guests kind of gather at the yep. opening of the of the beach and said, who who is right. this group? You know, yeah. what what are they? Who? Because we, it was. Like just, fun. <laughs> we we are a lot of fun. So it was wonderful. It was it was such a great uh week and it was just fun was to be great. together. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of fun and the things we got to do this year, we'd love to hear about what you guys got yeah. to do, right? And so yeah. in our holiday theme, we're gonna be giving away another hundred fifty dollar gift card. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do is participate. So that means give us a thumbs up, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Yep. 
comment in there. Leave us what you did this year, whether that was like a favorite Disney movie right. or a favorite Disney gift or a favorite Disney trip that you took. Any Disney memory that stands out in the year 2022. Yeah. Your favorite Disney, oh. favorite Disney podcast. Favorite Disney podcast. Favorite Disney podcast. If it's hint. World of DVC, you might get extra points. <laughs> oh, shameless plug. We are, we, we are not above bribing it's the now. last show of the new year. It's it. And make sure you email us and that is info at worldofdvc.com. We will announce our winner on the next show and we'll be sure yeah. to send you an email as well to let you know you've won some fun spending yeah. Disney money in the new year. Yes. And there's been so many fun things too. Yeah. I feel like we're this is the year we're kind of getting back to some resemblance of some normalcy that yep. some of the you know the, the things on the cruise ship you don't need to go through the whole rigmarole and some of the great things on Disney Plus. I just think about like Disney's really come back in in a really great way. Yes. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Yeah. That's and I'm thinking stuff. of speaking of incredible. Do you kind of know where I'm going to go with this? I might. Should I head over here? Many of you probably had incredible Disney Vacation Club vacations throughout 2022. And maybe you have some incredible vacations planned for 2023. But Marissa and Carrie, let's let everyone know something that we're super excited about is again, our marketing director, I tell you, sales and marketing director, tell us what we have coming down right now for everybody using their Disney Vacation Club points. So it's super exciting, and we've kind of alluded to this for the past couple months, but we have an entire new program that we're offering not only our DVC members, but any of our Disney guests mm -hmm. to really enhance your Disney vacation stay. And that's through the newest addition to the world of DVC, which is Incredible Vacation Homes. Now, Incredible Vacation Homes covers homes throughout the greater Orlando area. There's over 50 different options mm -hmm. to choose from, and these so homes cool. are spectacular. Most of them start at about five bedrooms and go all the way up to 20 bedrooms. <laughs> I mean, they, I'm sorry, what, 20 <laughs> bedrooms? <laughs> they are insane. I don't even know 20 people. Yeah. <laughs> 20 well, that alone, after bedrooms. our retreat you do, and we're all going to stay there together <laughs> next year. Right. Uh, but the, these, not only are these amazing homes, they're yeah. minutes away from Walt Disney World. Right. And they're really great for that family who goes, hey, we, we've stayed at the parks multiple times, yep. but this time we have a bigger group coming, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe we're doing a little less of the park time, and we just mm -hmm. kind of want that family time in Orlando mm -hmm. and maybe we'll do a day or two at the parks but we kind of want that Disney feel so all of these rooms are themed whether you're mm -hmm. talking princess themed superhero themed wizard themed you get where I'm going yes. here, right? <laughs> uh, so they all have incredible theming they all have typically amazing pools every one of them fall within like the reunion community. Mm -hmm. So right. with reunion, you also get access to the reunion water park. Mm -hmm. There are amazing restaurants there, rooftop bars, fireworks views. So it's truly incredible. And so we're super excited. You can find how to use your points on this at dvcrentalstore.com. When you go to filter and look, you can go to the swap part as a mm -hmm. member and see, hey, where do my points translate in terms of these rooms or homes? And you can also go as a guest, whether that's right through dvcrentalstore.com or incredible vacationhomes.com and you can book these houses cash as well and they significantly drop mm -hmm. in terms of like price if you're comparing it to a Disney resort. So we did <clears> a bunch <throat> of comparisons while we were there. Um, one that I'll kind of showcase for you guys is called the Be Our Guest Cottage. So the Be Our Guest Cottage is five bedrooms, an amazing pool. It has princess theme rooms. It has superhero theme rooms. It has so car great. themed rooms. Mm -hmm. It has a galactic movie theater inside. <laughs> Literally everything you can need. Um, shameless plug. I actually helped design this one. Oh, so, oh <laughs> quite a little cottage. <laughs> <laughs> little cottage. I was behind a, a lot of kind of the design and the inspiration. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that. But we thought we'd take you one step further. So during our retreat, Derek and I snuck away on the first day <laughs> and we went to reunion to show you some incredible vacation homes. Well, Are exciting. you kidding me? This place is unbelievable. We haven't even been inside yet, and I can't. I, and I think I've already texted my wife and kids and say we're moving in. You can't is, stay here unless you use your points. Oh my god, it's unbelievable! <laughs> this place has how many bedrooms? Like eight bedrooms? Eight bedrooms. And sleeps how many? I think you said like twenty-one. Twenty-one people. I don't even think I know twenty-one people. This place is un. Believable. I love it. So I, I told it. you guys there was exciting news and our audience has been patiently waiting yes. for a month now for our exciting news. Well, welcome to Reunion and welcome to Incredible Vacation Homes. We're here to showcase over 50 new places that you can use your points. So head over to IncredibleVacationHomes.com to figure out where you want to stay on that next vacation or 
DVC rental store. You can literally log on and use your points for your next day. Now you might be wondering, okay, but come on, like this How is a bedroom sleeps for one people. How many points? <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know this is called the grant here at Incredible Vacation Homes. Perfect name. And for the grand, which maybe looks a little like the Grand Floridian, <laughs> let's use that as a comparison. The Grand Floridian Grand Villa, in comparison, uses anywhere from about 700 to 1,500 points for the week. Versus here, you can use 600 to 1,000 points for the week for an eight bedroom. So if we compare seasons, seasons to seasons, you're using 30% less points to stay here. Less points yeah. for a place that sleeps up to 21 people yes. that literally wait till you go inside. I just kind of <laughs> peered through the front door before they opened it, and I cannot believe it. So 30% less points, yep. still close enough to Disney World, which yep. is great. Yep. And you have way more space and way more rooms and bedrooms, and this is unbelievable. And I for the it. cash rate, let's say you don't want to use your points, right? Let's say it's a big family reunion. You go, hey, we want that Disney-style vacation, right. but we don't want to use all our points right. for our stay. You can pay the cash rate for this. And again, if you compare it to the Grand Villa cash rate, you're saving anywhere from 40 to 50% on the cash rate compared to Grand Villa. Now, Grand Villa is amazing, right? right? You're on Disney property, but there's only three bedrooms and it sleeps 12 people. So you are getting double the amount of people for this location. Yeah. Now, I would love to take you inside, but we have Megan here and she's going to take it away and show you just what this house has in store. <laughs> So you're planning your Florida trip, and you might feel like you have to choose between magic and adventure. Well, stop right there, because I've got a house that'll make your whole family happy. Follow me. Hi, I'm Megan with the World of DVC, and welcome to the Grand Orlando. It's called the Grand for a reason. This eight bedroom home can sleep 21 of your very favorite people. Imagine making memories here. This house really has something for everyone. And for those magic lovers, hang out with the gang here in the playroom. Or visit a galaxy far, far away on your very own big screen. Your dino lovers are gonna get a kick out of this room. Just be careful, I hear they bite. Or maybe pool's more your style? This grand house is the perfect mix of magic and adventure. So if you're already dreaming of your family staying here, then be sure to book your trip with Incredible Vacation Homes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I told you. <ya>. So <laughs> great. That is so incredible. I swear. I love today because we're not just taking a look at one house. Right. There's so many options here in Reunion for you yes. to use your vacation club points for. Yeah. That's just incredible. There's so many great ways. I, I could just imagine how many folks out there are going to be able to take advantage of this and make magical memories with their family. And speaking of magical memories, we are in our house called Magical Memories. <laughs> I see what <laughs> you did there. Segue. Great segue. Great <laughs> segue. It's six bedrooms. It sleeps 14 people. Again, so many options. We have up to 50 different homes you can choose from when it comes to incredible vacation homes. So again, you can find that right on dvcrentalstore.com. If you want to see how many points it takes, you can even see the cash rate on there too. And what's so amazing, especially with DVC these days, is you can find that there's some limited availability. Well, now we've just kind of opened up that world where, as you can see, you stick within that amazing Disney theming and you're just a quick drive away from the theme parks. So, so many incredible <laughs> options. I mean, look at this. Look at this right? castle. This, this is incredible. And you and I were talking as we we're walking around the yeah. house. Uh, and I think I almost lost you for a second because it's so you big. You didn't believe me. I didn't believe it. But yeah, it's unbelievable. But the point usage, right? Yeah. Because people might have heard and said, okay, great. So you've got these vacation homes that sleep right. 14 people. They sleep 21 people. But how many points is it going to be? When you broke it out and explained it to me, I literally had to ask you, I think, like six times. I said, right. wait a second. It cannot be Not that low for <laughs> seven nights versus, say, just a regular two-bedroom. No kidding. So for seven nights, eight days in this particular house with this amazing theming, 
you are looking at around 170 points for the week. I mean, maximum, if we're talking like Christmas and Easter week, 350 points. For I mean, seven nights? That's insane. If uh, you look, let's compare it to a two-bedroom, which a two-bedroom, again, fantastic, yeah. sleeps up to nine people in most resorts. But again, this is going to save you anywhere from 30 to 50% of the points. And let's say you don't want to use points. Again, let's just say, hey, it's a big kind of family event. You want to save your points. You can book this room for less than $500 a night. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. I just love it. And well, love it. we want to show you more. So, Megan, take it away. <laughs> Have you been searching for something to make your vacation extra memorable? Well, welcome to Incredible Vacation Homes. Hi, I'm Megan with World of DVC. Follow me while I show you why you're going to want to swap those points and book your next trip here in Reunion Resort. Did we just travel to a galaxy far, far away? Or does this house really have it all? Oof! The dreams that you wish really will come true here in this perfect princess room. You guys, check out this arcade. Isn't it cool? Watch, I'm gonna be the high score. Guess what? If grandma and grandpa wanna to come too, they get their very own guest suite. Well, if I haven't convinced you yet, just picture yourself poolside here. With incredible vacation homes, no expense has been spared. Plus, this place is designed for fun. And you even get access to all of Reunion Resort's incredible amenities, rooftop bars, great restaurants, golf courses, plus an awesome water park for the kids, lazy lagoons, slides, this place has it all. So if you're ready to book your next trip here, visit Incredible Vacation Homes to book your stay now. I want to go. We need oh, to have oh, a, right? <laughs> exactly. a world of DVC party I there. I just oh, found right. 20 people, so I'm ready to book. <laughs> one for every bedroom. One it's so funny because <laughs> our team stayed at one of the one of the, um, one of of the the houses there when they were here from Indianapolis a couple of weeks ago. And anyway, Nick's little girl, Alex, was there, and she showed me around. She was like, you have to see this. And as every door she went into, like, we got lost. And she's like, as you can see, this room attaches to this room, and this room attaches to this, and this has – and it was like all this, like, Marvel – Craziness. I think, you know, it was just the same house. Yep. Yeah. That was just amazing. It's it's just so cool. Get your groceries, like stay there, like Marissa said. Like yep. it's just such a great place if you don't want to do the resorts or yeah. you know, you say I'm gonna spend a little bit less time or we're, we're doing a family reunion. We wanna play games and enjoy the pool or something like that. And yeah. also like work with Ellie, right? Reach yeah. out to our dream vacation planner oh, gosh, if you wanna yeah. have like catering in yes. or you wanna have like a basket there when you arrive of all yep. your necessities. Yep. So they're at the house. Yeah. And what what's so great about them too is that it literally is, you know, and we hear that phrase a lot, you know, minutes away oh, from the it magic. Is. Yep. It really, it is, really is. is minutes away from the magic. Yeah. But I think, like you said, the best part about it is, my God, I'm going to be able to come back after, say I go to the parks. I'm yep, going to come yep. back. I'm not necessarily going back to a grand villa, which is why as great yeah, as, as those right. are, they're going to gobble up a whole ton yes, of points. Right, yes. Here, you literally have, it's your own house. Right. It private is pool, your private arcades, like house. everything. Yeah. So you and just, you're doing it, let's say you wanted to do like four or five nights, right? Yeah. In one of these mega mansions, you can do it for around 400 to 500 points, which is going to be crazy? significantly less than a grand villa. Yeah. 400 or 500 it, points for like night? four or five nights. No, yeah. total. Total. So yeah. it's an amazing way. Like if you've mm -hmm. got a big group coming and mm -hmm. I think like Again, if you, you do multiple studios at Disney, right? That's so great when you're like parks, go, go, go. Right. But like a lot of families come down and they want that community time to sit yeah. around a big table and yep. have that. Yep. And so that's what makes it so special. That's 100%. Well, I mean, it, it's just so crazy as you're sitting here talking and I'm looking at both of you and it's the holidays and you know, Danny's here. Hi, Danny. <laughs> you're going to meet Danny in 2023 later on. But right. it's just so incredible. And I get, you know, you know, Derek's got goosebumps again. But it's true because I look back on when we started 2022. Yeah. The thought that we would end 2022 with us being able to say that you could use, mm -hmm. you know, your DVC points right. for universal hotels, universal park tickets, yeah. for vacation homes. You mm -hmm. could mix points. 
points, you can miss cash. You have a whole team of experts that are happily, you know, able to walk you through the whole entire process that it's just, for me, being a Disney Vacation Club member for as long as I've been one, it's just so nice because I think for so often people have always heard when they look into buying resale. Well, the person at Disney told me that I can't do this Mm -hmm. and I can't do that and I can't do that. So not only in 2022 have we shown that, yeah, you can, you can actually do it, including things like Disney Cruises for a lot less points. 60 to 70%. 60 to 70 less points. So that's just awesome. And I think what's so cool and to kind of throw back again to the retreat, right? Our CEO, Nick, who was actually on our holiday episode last year, but he had stepped in and he had talked about, you know, what what is our mission going forward, right? What what does 2023 and our why look Mm -hmm. like? And it's to revolutionize the vacation experience. Mm -hmm. And so in that note, Stay tuned each episode because we have so many new things coming in 2023. Uh, But with that, as we look to revolutionize the vacation industry, and really our goal is to give our guests the most that they can find when it comes to vacationing for their family all in one place with that Disney quality, that Disney experience, that ingenuity that just kind Mm -hmm. of changes the way that you're going to do those vacations. And so we wanted to share with you something very special. We're only releasing it here in Mm -hmm. 2022 because we haven't made it a big announcement yet, but we knew you, our audience, would love to kind of get a sneak peek on this. So we have something very special coming. We're doing a whole episode on it in January, Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm going to throw it to Paul to take you behind the scenes of what we call Unlocked Magic. Hey everybody, Paul here, and I just wanted to take a quick minute to thank you for joining our Unlocked Magic community. Inside these walls, you are going to find a variety of discounts, tips, tricks, tools, you name it, that will help in planning your next Disney vacation. But even more importantly, in my eyes, we are building a community for Disney people, people that love all things Disney, and that's what they want to discuss. We're stripping away all the fluff, ads, commercialized nature of traditional social media and giving you a home where you can just talk about what you love. Whether it be Disney Cruise Line, Disney Vacation Club, Marvel, Star Wars, all of these things will live within the spaces down below, and we are just getting started. If you are new to our community, I would highly recommend that you click the link below to take our new member challenge. This will give you the opportunity to explore a variety of the spaces inside Unlocked Magic and let you start off on the right foot. If at any point during your journey here at Unlocked Magic, you have a question about anything, please feel free to reach out to me directly at info at unlockedmagic.com and I would be happy to help. I can't wait to get chatting with you down in the spaces below, and I'm so excited to have you here as a part of our community. See you real soon. So that gives you just a little sneak preview, but again, stay tuned next month. We will have Paul on the episode, Mm -hmm. and we're going to go into all the amazing things behind Unlocked Magic. I'm coming next month. I feel like we need a drum roll or a curtain (laughs) lift or something, right? And tune in because we do have a special gift for all of you tuning in next Mm -hmm. month, so make sure you are joining us for that show. Mm -hmm. (laughs) As if the reason to tune in wasn't enough, we're not above saying, hey, you might get something if you tune in next month. We're completely comfortable saying that. Why not? But yeah, speaking of of, of giving things back here, I had to mention one more thing yeah. about the retreat because which was made it so special. Like you said, it wasn't just kind of hey, getting up here's sales numbers, here's this number, blah blah blah. Right. It really was how can we all become basically better people? And you yeah. brought in and found. I'm not sure where you found him, but as soon as I saw him, mm-hmm. I go, I know I've seen him on social media. Yep. I've seen him. Everywhere else, tell everybody who our little surprise got. Oh, one of our special one surprises. Of our surprises yes, we yes, we had a couple, a couple on uh, Tuesday. This was actually two weeks ago um, this week. My friend Jason Zucker is, um, he's a former Disney animator, and he was part of the COVID layoffs with Disney. And he started this um, Saturday Noodle, basically he calls it, where he would do these art classes for children online via Zoom. And they became so popular that he had to add in like, the Wednesday noodle and the Saturday noodle, the Sunday noodle, this and that, because all these parents were like, what am I going to do with my kids during COVID? And so he came up with this whole thing where he had his camera down and he would draw everything from, you know, the classics of Mickey to like Mickey as, you know, a different character to some Marvel characters to just anything and everything that people wanted to draw. Well, he came back to Disney, um, but not as an animator because things have, have changed, right? And so when they came back, they didn't really have um, animators sitting in the 
yeah. resorts any longer. <clears throat> well, he ended up driving minivans and he absolutely loved doing that because he's such an expressive oh, yeah. and a huge personality. So he would drive the minivans and would chit chat with people. And anyway, I've known him for a couple of years because his wife, Rhonda, is also part of our admin team with Ear for Each Other. Uh and so our very first episode long time ago we talked about ear for each other which was the the um facebook group that my friend maxine and i started and so Rhonda works with ear for each other and that's how i met jason was through her well i knew his talent and i knew we didn't want to do something like marissa said like training and development you know breakout sessions and this and that we wanted something just fun lighthearted, and it was just a great way to see who can draw in our team and who truly could not. Like, we really should have drawn a contest because these drawings were hysterically funny. So, you know, to see, like, Nick's drawing and stuff, and, you know, and then you've got other people who are true artists, like Nicole. Nicole from Indiana, she's, like, a graphic designer, and so hers was perfect. And it was just very funny to see people, you know, who are the perfectionists in the room and who were like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just draw it, like, you know, Jason's showing so I had asked Jason to come up with four different characters to sort of be synonymous with our four core values, which are integrity, ingenuity, excellence, and synergy. And so that's what he did. So I didn't even know what he was going to come up with. I didn't want to influence any of his decisions. And so while he was up on the stage, he's drawing for integrity. He came up with Jiminy Cricket. Yeah. Right? Was that a surprise to anybody, by the way? No. Nope. Yeah, Jiminy Cricket, right? And then for synergy, it was... Synergy was Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> And pretty, I think that's a good choice. Yeah. Pretty good choice, right? <laughs> Synergy was Mickey Mouse. Um, he drew Woody yep. for Ingenuity. Yep. And kind of a throw to like Pixar. To Pixar, for that. yep. The partnership with Pixar. And then for Excellence, this threw, I think, everybody off. Because I think we were, I don't know, I was kind of thinking like the Fab Five or something a little bit more, somebody a little bit more known. But he drew Lewis. From Meet, from Meet the, the Robinsons. Robinsons. Mm -hmm. Which so, if you've seen that movie, you think, oh my God, that's such a perfect yes, choice. Yeah. It was that. such a perfect choice. It was cool. It was awesome. And so he did all of it. And <clears> his storytelling <throat> as he's drawing and sketching all of these these characters up on the stage on this big easel. And then um, I asked him to stay and, and teach everybody how to draw Mickey Mouse. And of course, with Mickey Mouse, there was a theme with there Mickey Mouse. There was a theme. So there was a, there was a purpose-filled <laughs> moment um, where you can't have a meeting, a conference, a get-together at Disney without having Mickey show up. And so that was the magical moment that took everybody's breath away, right? I, that's my moment where I cried, Yeah, if you remember. She did. Every which, time I see Mickey Mouse, I cry. Which it was so perfect, too, because again, yeah. you guys know Carrie by now she's got everything planned out and everything else so when, she, when we finished drawing and carrie runs up to the stage with her microphone and she's like folks i'm sorry uh, i just have to check on a few things and make sure everything is going okay we're all thinking what happened like, <laughs> like did something happen and then my disney brain clicked and i went I think I know where she's going. Because there's a timing, right? <laughs> yes. There was a timing of it. And I had Marissa and Paul stationed at the doors. They were like my the managers of Mickey for that moment. And we came up with this whole funny thing to say. I was going to say on stage to everybody, you know, let's have a, uh, you know, to end the day, this great day before our beach party, let's have a magical moment where you can each come up and take pictures with Nick and Drew, our CEO and COO, which we love Nick and Drew to pieces. And yes, we want our pictures taken with them. But Marissa and Paul said, maybe we have a little something a little bit more magical. And the doors open and Mickey walked in. Oh, it was just. And to see everybody like, I mean, chairs flipped. People just stood up. Cameras came out. I mean, it was. Rushing the door. It was a moment to, 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 to be seen. It was it was oh, incredible. Oh, boy. Slow down, everybody. Exactly. The rush to Mickey. Calm down. So, yeah. So, we got a ton of pictures with Mickey and, and of course, our big ever first ever group picture yeah. with Mickey and then individual ones and it's just so special to great. see him yeah. and we got one of the three of us which I'll put on the screen yes. there but yeah we I mean it was it was such an amazing week we ended off with our Orlando company Christmas party yep. and of course we had some time to have fun and dinner yep. and all of that it was beautiful. Um, but I think what was that the coolest opportunity was for even us who don't get to spend day to day with all of our team members right. of having that chance to connect and we know for you our audience you haven't met them all either. So again, right. I'm going to say this again. If you're listening mm -hmm. uh, via podcast on audio, you might want to flip over to YouTube because we want to share with you a little bit of what mm -hmm. makes up the team here at the World, World of DVC.
just got off of Expedition Everest on the scale of not very magical, very magical, or magical, it gets a no doubt very magical. Would recommend. <laughs> One of the reasons I love the team here at World of DVC is that we are all very like-minded. We are working hard and we are loving what we do each and every day to make people happy to experience Disney World or whatever it might be with Disney. I'm Carla from DVC Rental Store. Welcome to the world of DVC. One of the things I love about working for the world of DVC company is the people. The people really, truly make this company so special. I'm Lindsay, the reservation supervisor for the DVC Rental Store. Welcome to the world of DVC. Are you still recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey. That was great. That was fun, right? It took me you know, back to being I me. know. I know. You don't realize like how many moments we have. And what I learned from that is that we need a professional photographer to follow us all around <laughs> because we have a million moments to capture. But um, that was great. send us your resumes so if you're watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish. I wish we could do that. You did no. Speaking so of incredible. sending us your stuff, again, make sure yeah. that you are commenting one of your favorite Disney memories from this mm -hmm. year. Like, subscribe, participate. Yeah. Email us at info at worldofdvc.com. One, we just love all of your comments. We and do. two, we'd love Truly. to give away that $150 Disney gift yep. card, and we will reach out to you if you are winner. Our yep. winner, I love it. And you know what? It made me think when we started this show, um, trying to think, how did we end the show last time? And I think we did talk about like what are we most looking forward to? Our, in last, our last holiday, holiday episode. Yeah, last, last holiday, holiday episode, episode. Right? Yeah. Was what were we looking forward to? It was in actually our first our first episode ever because we yeah. we did our first episode kind of right in the height of like. COVID pandemic, yep. and so so much was closed at Disney, right. and so we talked about what we're looking forward to to reopen, Reopening. and That's then we brought right. that back during our last holiday episode, yes. and now right. that we've hit that point, now yeah. we just want to know, what are we what looking, are we looking to? forward yeah, to? Yeah, what are we looking now forward to? Now it's all mostly back. Mm -hmm. Yes. it's a well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm looking forward to. Well, tell everybody. So I'm looking forward to a trip to Hilton Head. Um, in February. So I booked with my points for the very first time. I haven't used any of my points yet. They sit in this little account and they're dying <laughs> to be used. So I booked a two bedroom um, for my family and I as a surprise to my parents. So they can't watch this until after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's going to be part of their Christmas present is oh, we're going to go to Hilton Head awesome. for three nights You'll love it. in February. So I can't wait. I've been there. They've been there because my dad golfs used to golf a lot, but they've never been to Savannah and Charleston and they've never been to Disney's Hilton Head. So I'm super looking forward to that trip and to be using my points for the very first time. You're going to love it. Yeah. And I'm when excited. the Adonitis strikes, Carrie, you know how to get a hold know, of me. I know where to find you. I can help you with a Hilton yes. Head contract. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's going to go back to her original agent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're the one she, that sold she it. She did a good job. She did a good job. I might share the wealth, though. I might share the wealth. Thanks. Uh, so so for me, forward to? me, I'm looking forward to and dreading all at the same time is because my oldest son is a senior in high school. So oh, I, know. I think just looking forward to being able to spend as much time as we can with him while we yeah. await his college decisions. He was just got into Florida State, so oh, we're super excited about congratulations. that. We're waiting on UF, so we'll know that probably by the time the next show airs, okay. whatnot. But he's, you know, going to be 18 the day after Christmas. So right now, that's why Vero was so important to us yeah. and so magical because it just kind of makes you as a family say your big decisions are yeah. where are we eating 
Are we going to the beach or the pool? Yeah. You know, the electronics get put away right. and you play things like shuffleboard and you play right. things like you know mini golf yep. at Vero Beach and all that. So I think with us just trying to spend as much time as possible, whether it's in the parks or whether it's at a hotel. And now I'm going to get all teary eyed. I, uh, I know. But we are going to go to Saratoga Springs today because as part of his 18th birthday present, we got him a grand villa at Saratoga for him and his eight nine friends that are all rowers so we're gonna oh. have them go in there order them 34 pizzas and let them have a great time How in, awesome is that? so that's what i mean we're just trying to build yeah. as many memories as possible so i think for his 21st birthday you should get him a 20 bedroom incredible vacation home there you go <laughs> that's what i think because <laughs> that won't be a party no <laughs> please Ooh. i'm thinking positive thoughts about tonight <laughs> it's all gonna go well oh wait listen no listen to what well. i'm saying <laughs> What about you? Well, yeah. and I think like this goes back to just even that whole episode that we did last episode with Amy of like why join the membership, right? Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. like sometimes it's not even because it makes like the most economical right. sense. But like as we go to like this year and we like look at like what are we most looking forward to? It's random trips we're doing I with know, our points. It's so yeah. true. And so for us, we're actually um middle of January, we have booked out with some really close family friends where we're gonna go do a weekend back at Vero. Oh, but it's so just nice. I think with all the hustle and bustle with the holidays, which yeah. we love and it's my favorite time of year. But I think there's just so much that goes on where you need that reset moment. And so we're so looking forward to like our little family having that time to yeah. just go like, hey, let's have yes. that peace yeah. and reset. And again, these are things we wouldn't do if we weren't DVC members. Right, and so right. I think that's what just, it brings it full circle mm -hmm. to like the favorite things and the things we're looking through most as we go into the new year yeah. are things that involve DVC yep. because right. it does really kind of take you out of like that day to day mm -hmm. and make you pause and really enjoy that family time. And, and it's not about that. like just rides. No. Like, oh, I hope so and so no. is going to open or I hope right. yeah. It's just like you said, no, it's just it's, the little moments of yep. just being with mom. It's and with friends and that. family yeah. and just that kind of like that simple. And yeah. that's why I feel like Vero Beach and Hilton had ours. Yeah. Like just that simple, you know, kind of good old fashioned family fun. Yeah. 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 And if you play your cards right, you might get upgraded to a Grand Villa. I'm going to put a lot know. of energy into I'm sure that. you yeah. will. Or you probably already booked a Grand Villa. I did, a, I did a regular in-room. <laughs> <laughs> the beach cottage it is then. <laughs> you know how popular she is in Vero. She can't go out to eat without fans recognizing her. So, so no, this was great. Yeah. yeah. Again, thank you all to each and every one of you. Truly, you guys uh, truly probably don't know that yeah, how much we love true. doing the show. And it's because and joining of us for each and every one of you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so episodes. much. You guys have been there from the very beginning. So thank you for telling your friends and your family and mm -hmm. all that. So with that being said, as we bring the final episode yep. of 2022 to a close. Wonderful close, too. There is just one a long long standing, standing tradition, tradition <laughs> which is happy, happy holidays. holidays. And we'll, <laughs> we'll see, see you real soon. soon. Oh. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Please remove your headphones, step back into reality, have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon.